Well, um, we have a field of Super Chats that have come in regarding WrestleMania Backlash. Let's take this one right now from Aaron C. Aaron C. said, would the Demon Balor make sense to join Edge's faction Judgment Day? Also, I heard Bray Wyatt may never get in a ring again. Let's start with the first part of that question because last night you had AJ Styles versus Edge for the rematch from WrestleMania. And at the conclusion of the match, Rhea Ripley uh, makes her, uh, not re-debut, but, but makes her presence known by joining the Judgment Day faction. She now has her hair dyed black. And she's aligned with Edge and them. Do you think that uh, Finn Balor, the demon, would make sense to to be along with that book? And what did you think of the Rip, the person you've coined as you know, kind of like the next big thing? What do you think of the Rip joining Judgment Day? You know, um, Rip, Rip, Ripley definitely has that you know brood look. Okay, she falls right in um, as yeah. far as being, being a part of that group. Um, one thing also, uh, Real Ripley is that's been trying to find her footing, right? Um, she's good. She can go out in the ring and, and perform at, at a high level. Um, but it seemed like um, it's crowded um, as far as um, women getting, you know, opportunities at certain times right now. It's, it's a crowded um, field right now. And, and mm-hmm. for for me, uh, when, the, when the field was always crowded, I was – I I didn't mind doing something different um, outside of the box um, because I knew it was going to be some spotlight on me um, uh, playing this role over here, opposed to trying to play in that crowded field. Um, So for me, I like the move for real Ripley. It's definitely going to highlight her. It's going to put her um, in a position to where she's going to have a a active role on a weekly basis, doing something, Um, adding Finn Balor to that group right there, the demon. Um, that's definitely a dynamic, um, a dynamic, you know, you know, unlike most, um, if I would have a, a character like the demon, you know, as, as a part of that group, I, I couldn't see the demon on a regular basis just because he is such an enigma. He is so different than anything that I've ever seen, you know, in professional wrestling. So, um, I, I just don't know how that will work out. Yeah, I'm not I'm not 100% on that one either. Like, I mean, Finn though joining, it does make sense in some regard because he has been on one of those uh pretty pronounced losing streaks, right? Like we haven't seen, you know, Finn get a win in a long time. And a lot of the times when I see stuff like that, I I ask my question I ask the question, "Well, why? Like why isn't Finn getting these looks? Obviously, he's talented. Obviously, this is somebody you want in a main event scene." And um, normally it's because they're saving him for something. They're building to something, right? And if it's building to him joining Judgment Day, I mean, I wouldn't be mad at that. I I don't see him doing really anything of great significance right now on the show. Not to say that he couldn't, but at the moment he's not. You could throw him in Judgment Day so long as there's a plan. That's the one thing is now that we have a faction, you're going to get a lot of those questions of, well, should this person join the faction? Should this person join the faction? What What if we throw Bray Wyatt? What if he comes back and he's in the faction? It's like okay, let's make sure there's a point to it. Like yeah, yeah. That's what the NW, That's what we were talking about last week. That's what the NWO did. Hey, yeah. we got this shirt. You want to wear the shirt? Like you could be a part of the group if you wore the shirt and have the music. It'd be like everybody else. Yeah. Or do you want to stand out and and have a purpose within the group? So I mean, yeah, that's- yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said, adding Rhea Ripley. Um, I see that just because you know, um, Rhea, Rhea is definitely different, and and to have her, you know. You know, as a part of that group right there, that, you know, a female um, is definitely something I think adds a little flavor, you know, to a group like that. So, but but that just start that's adding really guys, you know, no, nah, I wouldn't do that. Say that. And that's not really something we've seen a lot. We don't really see a, a faction that has like a like a, a top female superstar in it. Yeah, yeah, you know, you yeah. might have like the woman who's the valet of the group or something like that, you know, but you rarely have someone who's she could be the world champion, you know, the exactly. women's world champion. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. So it is interesting. It is interesting addition. Uh, real quick before we go to break, what do you think about uh, what Aaron said? Maybe Bray Wyatt never come back to the ring. I haven't heard that, but but he's mentioning it. So w- what do you think? Yeah, I, I heard that. Um, but but I also heard. Uh, actually, I was reading. Um, uh, Pat McAfee actually mentioned Bray Wyatt on the show last night. I don't know if that's a precursor. I don't know if that's a, a signal. Uh, 
a spoiler or a teaser. I don't know what that was, but normally uh, there's a method to all the madness. Uh, yeah. So yeah, yeah. Is it time for us to take a break, man? We got to take a break. Can you dig it, dig it sucker? Dig it, sucker. What's up, this Booker T, two-time Hall of Famer. I know you're checking out the shine, checking out the gloss. I want to thank you guys for checking out Row on YouTube. Hey, don't forget to click and subscribe to check out all the latest content right here each and every week. Now, can you dig that, sucker? <laughs> 